Hi everyone, this is Dr. Travis Whitney with the Innate Healthcare Institute and in this video we're going to be talking about stem cell therapy for autism. We do a lot of treatments for autism at the Innate Healthcare Institute uh, with stem cell therapy. So I wanted to go over uh, just a couple of things in a really quick brief video for families that may be looking into stem cell therapy uh, for their children. Uh, we get about uh, five to ten families, parents a week uh, with lots of questions and one of the most biggest ones that I wanted to touch on in this video is what are the improvements that we typically see uh, with children. So uh, if you're obviously watching this video then you know what autism uh, is or autism spectrum, spectrum disorder uh, so I don't need to elaborate too much on that but it can be a wide variety of symptoms from nonverbalness to uh, poor social interactions with the parents and or uh, their siblings or friends. Uh, it could be repetitive behaviors, it could be outbursts. Uh, that's why it's called a spectrum. Uh, so uh, in our treatments, what we tend to notice uh, after about a month to three months are improvements in um, verbal acquisition, so uh, either being completely nonverbal to saying their first words or if they're not quite meeting the milestones uh, at, of their age uh, for talking, uh, you can see new word development and a lot better uh, acquisition of communication. It's very common to see uh, improvements in speech and language, such as the decrease in echolaic speech, which is um, them mimicking, a child may mimic or, or uh, repeat certain words instead of having their own thought process or own development of words. Uh, we see improvements in sleep patterns, we see improvements in more appropriate behaviors, whether that's playing with a sibling or playing with friends and family. Uh, eye contact is a big, uh, a big improvement that we hear a lot of feedback from our parents say. Uh, there's improvements in digestion, there's improvements in anxiety levels, so uh, not being as fearful of loud noises, not being uh, as fearful of strangers, willing to try and experiment and try new things, eat new foods. So I wanted to share with you a couple, uh, a few of the follow-ups that we have from our parents. These are anywhere from one to three months after the treatment. Um, I won't say the kid's name, so uh, my son is, doing st is still doing great. He's playing with his sister more, following simple directions better, and is still doing well in therapy. His awareness keeps getting better and better, and his receptive language also seems to be getting better. Uh, with the same kid, this is four months later, after their treatment, um, therapies have been going great, and he's learning so many new things. He's completing activities and following directions better. It's been amazing. His eye contact seems to be in, uh, doesn't seem to be an issue anymore, and we are so happy. Um, another uh, child, son is doing very good. I'd say his biggest areas of improvement are eye contact and engagement with people. It's been amazing to witness. Uh, our son uh, is not as hyper as before. He's almost now completely potty trained with a few accidents here and there. He is playing with his baby brother. He understands better and signs better to communicate and he points better too. We, we love seeing the improvements. Uh, here's another follow-up at one month. Uh, our son is doing really good so far. Ever since his treatment, he has about 10 more new words, is less fearful of crowds. He tries to communicate and imitate. Uh, his appetite is getting better and he's willing to try new things. He looks more alert and is more engaging now. Uh, this one's a really long one, uh, but this child is singing. Uh, his words are very close to being sung by the songs of the characters on TV. He's playing and trying to hold his sister more. He, previously, he would never acknowledge her. Um, uh, he's a lot calmer. His tantrums aren't as severe when we try to take away the iPad. Uh, he throws a little fit occasionally, but that's it. Uh, so these are some common things that we see with, uh, with treatments uh, with our kids. Um, Eye contact's a big one, uh, learning better, playing with other kids, engaging better with, uh, with family and friends. I hope this helps a little bit with uh, some of the things you're looking for. 
and we do free consultations for the family. So if you're curious about stem cell therapy for autism for your child, please don't hesitate to call us. We'll set up a time to, to answer your more questions in, in greater detail. And we look forward to talking with you.